The new funding framework is the first in 30 years. It's based on high performance at national and international levels. In other words, the sport that performs the best gets the most money to stay the best. They're rated according to an assessment guide and then they're ranked. And the, the decision, the funding decision, is based on their rank. It is pure merit. So I wouldn't say survival of the fittest, I'd, I'd say survival of the best. The best, according to the new system, is swimming. It gets the most funding. But because overall funding has been cut, swimming will receive less than last year. We're anticipating a cut this year in the neighborhood of 15%, which for us will be somewhere in the neighborhood of $150,000. Uh, and then next year, if the ceiling comes into place, it would mean a further reduction down to an $800,000 level from our current contribution of approximately $1.1 million. 29 sports lose either all or part of their funding, and along with that, may lose a lot of credibility as well. I would think a sport that the federal government has said, we don't we are not going to give you any funding anymore, we'll have a hard time being accepted into the Canada Winter Games, for instance. So the spiral goes, goes down. Down, and for some, out. About a year ago, this very government passed a bill naming lacrosse as Canada's official summer sport. Yet under its new ranking system, lacrosse has failed to qualify for funding and will be phased out by April of 1996. They come along and say, yeah, lacrosse is a great game and, you know, it's, it's important historically to Canada, but there's a set of bureaucrats at Sport Canada that don't think that way. Lacrosse, unfortunately, did not meet the high performance criteria. Um, the question I would have for you is, how do you think the other sport organizations would react if lacrosse being where it is on the list, all of a sudden the next day in the press they read a thing that we made a, we made a special dispensation and an exception for them? For lacrosse to survive, Austria says it will simply have to drum up more corporate support. But realistically, how attractive is any sport if it doesn't even rate government support? Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.